What's going on guys? G2 here. Welcome back to the bench and today we are going to be doing something totally new. I've never done this before. I want to learn how to do it so we're going to do it here on the channel and it's either going to turn out great or it's going to turn out like crap. So stay tuned and let's see how this whole thing goes. You guys, I think you know by now, I'm like, I gotta be busy. I gotta be doing something, and I'm always trying to learn something new. So one of the things that caught my eye were Kydex holsters in particular. And as I reviewed online and I watched a ton of YouTube videos, this process doesn't seem very hard at all. Uh, it really just is just a matter of having the components and being able to execute in a methodical fashion. So that's what we're gonna attempt today. And I have obviously ones that I've purchased. These all these guns are unloaded, by the way. So you can see we're good. So this one is for my Glock 19, and they all have a standard kind of style. There are two styles of Kydex holsters. You have what's called here a taco style. Basically, it's like a taco shell. It's one piece that's folded in half. The other option is a two-part holster which has a front and a back and they are fastened together on either sides and the bottom at times with screws rivets whatever it is what i'm going for today is the taco style i think for me this makes the most sense especially if you're doing an inside the waistband option with just a gun if you wanted to have a, a magazine with that then yes the two part may be better but we're going to start slow and we're going to start with the taco uh, these are basically just held the gun holds through retention and retention is created in a couple ways um, by pressure points on the holster so as you warm up this kydex and then you press it it forms around the gun so you have pressure points based on how your gun is set up and you can hear like there's a click there's a point where this gun is held in there so in addition to those points you have a uh, tension screw right here or a tension rivet and what this does this allows you to increase or decrease the tension to which you hold your gun which makes this customizable so if you want an easy draw you loosen it if you want a nice tight draw maybe you tighten it up what we're going to be doing <clears throat> as you can see all of these holsters are for guns with no attachments pretty simple so what I'm gonna do is on my Glock 17 polymer 80 build is I'm gonna make one so that I can house with my attachment on there so this holster is gonna be specifically made to be held with the attachment and this is probably a little bit more advanced than, than what I should be doing what I should be doing is taking this off and doing one but you know what, we're just gonna go and do it. We're just gonna make it happen. So the first step that you need to do is understand how these things work. And you need to make sure that any high points that you have, uh, whether it's latches or buttons or um, little pieces of your attachments, your sights are all blocked off because you don't wanna have you can't just form it as it is because it those things will impede the process of the gun clicking into the holster so you can see for example like our slide lock right here uh, on this holster they created a blocking so that that slide lock can move from the top down even though its final destination is right here it's going to need a path to get from here to here so you have to do that on all points on your gun so that is really I think the most time consuming process. So you have to think about it. The, the big things to think about are the sights. You always have to block off your sights and they typically do that with like a dowel rod or a pencil or something in here that spans from the front sight until the back post. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna block this and I'm just gonna kinda show you the end result. In this case, what we're gonna use, we've got a little, little setup here is we're gonna just use popsicle sticks and wooden dowels. And this, from what I've seen, is the cheapest, easiest method. It works, 
and these things are super cheap and you can customize the shape they sand down very easy you can clip them with a pair of uh, pliers very very easy to work with and there's not a lot of cost involved for different guns obviously will have to be blocked differently so the first thing here is we have our front sight or our sight block and this is going to go like so and you can see what I'm talking about so as we're looking at this it's going to create a channel when this kydex forms around it to allow the front post sight to move easily through the holster without binding now when you're attaching these on all you can need to use is just simple painters tape put that painters tape on there we'll make sure that the the blocking is centered put that on like so and we're going to continue all the way through so I've got a blocking piece here basically pretty easy it's just uh, popsicle sticks that I super glued together they create a pretty good uh, form here so this is going to be for our ejection port so as you can see that fits perfectly in there and then all we're simply going to do is just add that tape that painters tape on there okay so that was that now the other thing we're gonna have to have to worry about is our toggle switch right so this is toggled on off on off on off so we want to make sure that it's when we set this up it's going to be set in the off position so we're going to just we have a couple popsicle sticks here we're going to slide it underneath we're going to create that channel like you're seeing so this can move freely through the holster we're going to center it from what i've seen you don't have to worry too much about these uh tape lines they're not going to pick up the kydex won't pick up that definition okay so the final piece that we're going to need to block here is going to be for our clip now you got to think about when you're putting this in <clears throat> If we're doing inside the waistband right-handed draw the gun is going to go into like this which means it's going to clip on the outside here so that block is going to have to go you can kind of see it that blocking starts if we had to guess right around here so right behind our uh, ejection port Mark this like so, and then we're going to be able to put our piece like this. So we're going to block it off. So now we've got this whole thing taped off, blocked where we, I think it should be fine, where it's going to work. So now our next step is we need to determine how much kydex we're going to use. Now we're not going to go all the way to the end here of the gun, so we don't need to put it like that you know we know we're going to cut it off so let's trim it off right here we want to leave a little bit of room here on the end to work so we're going to mark there and if we were to roll this over we've got ample room this way and that way you want to make sure that you leave room on this side because that's where your rivets are going to go so in theory what we could do is as we roll this over you can see we'll have a little bit extra, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that extra just so we have more grinding, because I'm not quite sure how it's gonna work out, and I wanna make sure we have enough. So uh, this is gonna be our score line. Okay, so we're just gonna score that with a razor blade, nothing fancy. Do a couple scores, and then give it a crack, just like you're doing drywall. Scores here, and we're just gonna crack it. And that's it. And you can see we have an extra piece here, which, um, I mean, I wouldn't throw this away. You can use it if you want to do a, whatever. You want to do a little lighter holster or whatever. These are good pieces. You can use them for a bunch of things. Even maybe a smaller gun, you'd be able to do a small taco. All right, so now that we've got this done, we're pretty much ready to heat this up. So what we have here, simple toaster oven. It's all you're going to need to heat this up. It's got to heat up and get to a temperature between 320, 
315, 320 to 350. Anything over 350 has a potential of burning and that's gonna be a mess. So we wanna be right in the 320 range to ensure that we have an accurate reading. We're gonna use an infrared thermometer to measure this or scan the temperature of our kydex to ensure that we're getting close to that threshold. And then once that's done, we're gonna get it and we're gonna move it over to our Kydex press. Now this was one of the things that I did have to take an investment in. This was um, about 90 bucks. I got it from knifekits.com. It's all steel. There's people who are making them out there and they're using, you know, uh, two by 10 and two by 12 um, along with this thermal uh, press foam. And the problem that I had with those is this is made out of steel. I mean, this is solid, it's heavy, and I just felt like if we're gonna do this and we're gonna make this into something real, uh, let's use something, a high quality product for the press. So that's why I opted to do this for, um, and buy this for 90 bucks. When I priced out how much it would cost me to make my own, including the foam, the hinges, uh, similar construction, the lumber materials, it came to around $50. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna spend the extra 40 bucks and get a higher quality product and a higher quality material, steel as opposed to wood. So that's what we did. So here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna place our Kydex into our toaster oven. Now, the Kydex has two sides. It has this kind of matte or textured side and then it has this shiny side. You wanna put it shiny side down because that's going to be the inside of our holster and we don't when we press hold this uh, or when it's laying on here heating up there's a possibility it could get impressions from the grate so we want to make sure that's on the inside where we can't see it so we're going to put this in we're going to heat it up to 350 degrees we're going to stay here and make sure that we don't burn it now once that's done we're going to take this out we're going to lay our gun in here right we're going to fold it over it's going to be very malleable but you got to work quick i'm going to fold it over we're going to place it in our press we're going to press it down and we're just going to let that sucker cool for 10 minutes and hopefully fingers crossed when we pull it out we have a nice impression that's the theory so let's start okay so we're ready to go the other thing that we added is we're gonna add a spacer here. That spacer is gonna do is gonna add, a, add us a little bit of uh, wiggle room here so that we can, when we add our tension screw, it's not totally flush. So that's what we got here. No, very simple. It's just to give us a little bit of uh, room so we can bend that and give it some more tension if we need to. So we're gonna put in our Kydex shiny side down. Now we want to continually monitor the temperature here by opening up the door and scanning our Kydex to ensure that we're in that 315 to 320, 330 threshold. The Kydex will be warm when we take it out, so we want to make sure that we have some kind of gloves. I'm going to use leather gloves here. We're pretty close already. That did not take long at all. So let's get ready to roll. That didn't take any time at all. So we're going to place it down. We're going to center this we're going to place our piece on center this quickly like so we're going to stretch this kind of tight place this in our press get our top piece on making sure that we're holding everything tight and we're just going to press down and lock this in place. All right, so this has fully cooled for 10 minutes. We actually gave it a little longer, so it's cooled for about 15 minutes. And let's see what we got. I'm honestly a little nervous. Um, not quite sure what we're gonna be seeing here, but I guess we'll find out. Let's press this down and we'll release it. And here we go. So if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, and you wanna see how this turns out, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to see at the end of the video how this thing all worked out and if the Kydex 
project was a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So as you can see, this foam is pretty awesome. Uh, the indentations here are very minimal, which is why I selected this, because this is a higher quality foam than what you typically see uh, sold on Amazon or anything like that. Uh, overall, so far so good, I would say, uh, on this. So let's head over to the, to the bench and I'm going to mark out what we're going to cut off, what we're going to keep, and keep this baby rolling. Hard part's done. The, the part now is just fitting to your liking. So what we're going to be using this for, uh, what are... You know, we're using this as an inside the waistband holster. So here's our blocking where our mount is going to go. Now all we have to do is decide how much of this do we actually want to show. So the next part is, if you have a band saw or a scroll saw, you can easily take these pieces away, just kind of cut them off. Uh, I don't have that, so I'm just going to use a coping saw. next step which is going to be where do we want to have our holes now for this is pretty easy we know that our clips gonna go right here so all we've got to do is just mark our holes for our clip no problem with that uh, what we're also going to do is we're going to make this hole adjustable so we can adjust the cant of that so we're going to essentially drill out that much of a hole for this so we can move it as we need and then the other thing we're going to have to look at is where do we want our tension point to be so from what i'm feeling Right here seems like the best choice. I don't want to have it too far up because that's going to totally tighten this thing down. But right about here, we can move this pretty easily and it's got a nice snug fit. And then what we do for this is we're just going to use, we have our pieces. So we're just going to use our matching parts drill out the appropriate hole using our just our hand drill nothing fancy tip when you're drilling these remember you have space here um, so if you don't put something there to fill that space when you press this your holes are going to be off so use that blocking that you used to maintain that integrity that gap and then just drill through the whole thing and you'll have perfectly whole perfect holes that line up on either side now for this one here make sure that you don't blow all the way through uh, you're, this is not a through hole, this is just a one side hole. Okay, so now that we've got our clip in and we have our tension screw in, I had to use two washers instead of one. So we've maintained that gap pretty well. We're going to trim some of this away because we can take this further down, kind of decrease the, the profile of this a little bit, uh, and it comes out and it goes in and it's retained pretty well. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go trim and look at some of the pieces that I wanna trim off here, just to kind of uh, reduce this profile a little bit. And looking at this, I'd like to take it so that when we go to grab this, my knuckle is hitting. And take all that off, give us a little better handle to this piece. So let me go trim that up, see what it looks like. And we'll come back okay so here we are this is kind of the final shape here we have a couple little parts that I want to fix and I'm just gonna do that off screen using a, the Dremel and just you know contouring these edges so they're not sharp just gonna bevel them a little bit that's gonna be pretty much it and this thing I'm gonna call done it uh, it works great
nice and tight fit comes out no problem has a positive click when it gets to this retention point and it it's a nice smooth draw out uh, things I will do for next time that I you know I may have muffed up on here this sweat shield is not long enough I mean I think this look works works fine for inside the waistband draw it's tight doesn't fall out but it's easy to pull out so first time a little rough couple little learning points here so I'm not gonna totally chuck this because I think it's fully usable um, this was or this is adjustable as you can see so if we want a canted uh, setup or if we want to just unloosen this a little bit we can turn this and make it a little bit more square so that's a nice feature for that so you can adjust the cant of the clip and other than that I'm gonna chalk this baby as done so I guess what we can do is we're gonna start working on some kydex projects on top of this as well so if this got any of you guys interested into maybe stepping out of your norm and doing something different i definitely would give it a try it's not hard your first time is going to be rough you're going to go slow because you don't want to make a mistake but don't worry it's fine you'll get through it you'll be able to manage it no problem so until next time make sure that you're practicing safe weapons handling at all times and treating every weapon as if it was loaded God bless America. G2 out.